Hello everyone. I was going to talk about something else today, but uh, it's just dropped that PHP 7 has officially gone generally available. Now, say what you will, uh, a lot of people like to bash on PHP as an absolutely terrible language and uh, you know it should never be used and PHP is the root of all security problems on the interwebs and uh, anybody that uses it as brain damage and all of that jazz. Well, that's taking things a bit too far. Uh, going back to its roots, PHP was pretty terrible in the beginning, but it wasn't actually intended from the beginning as a particularly general language. It was a set of tools to help making a, uh, well, web page. And it kind of exploded from there. Now, with PHP 3, it got some uh, substantial popularity and uh, some actual effort. And, but it, over time, it's accumulated a whole bunch of, well, warts. But most of the problems with PHP are not so much the language itself, but the standard library. Most people don't separate the language from the standard library. For the most part, the syntax of PHP is not that bad. Uh, it has its issues, but pretty much every language is going to have some issues. Uh, if you can uh, represent something nicely in one, you know, one thing nicely, it may preclude another thing from being represented just as nicely. And, you know, PHP inherits much of its uh, structure, look, and feel from Perl. So it's got the uh, sigils, uh, you know, the dollar sign sigil for a variable prefix. Fortunately, it does away with the type sigils that Perl uses. So you don't have an at sign for arrays and a percent sign for hashes and a dollar sign for scalars and everything. In PHP, a variable is a variable is a variable. Now, originally it was untyped, so that led to a lot of problems. And there's some thinkos in the original design on, on how comparing uh, scalars and so on worked. Okay, fine. But, I, and, and that led to uh, having two equality and non-inequality operators. A uh, uh, loose typed version and a strongly typed version. And, you know, that's. You know, a lot of people seem to think that's a problem. But uh, for the most part, if you actually know the language, you can do fairly well. Most of the things I see discussed that are a problem for PHP, you know are programmer problems, not language problems. Oh sure, the language lets you do some pretty stupid stuff. But then so does C, and C++, and Python, and Perl, and all of these other languages. You can do some pretty stupid stuff in any language. At least any language that's Turing complete, which means you can do stuff in it. Uh, yeah. So uh, some of the things, uh, you know, like PHP originally had features like magic quotes where it would try to helpfully uh, pre-quote all of the incoming uh, stuff so that you wouldn't end up with uh, SQL injection stuff in uh, database queries. Uh, yeah, okay, that was, that was kind of stupid. But they deprecated that many years ago. And it hasn't been the default for even longer. And it's actually gone now with PHP 7, if I, re if I recall the uh, announcements correctly. And there was a fair bit in there, so I could be misremembering something. Um, another thing uh, was the, uh, uh, you know, query uh, variables uh, from web pages, um, you know, get, post, etc., would come in as global variables automatically. Now, it was also a problem because you couldn't be certain that something that you hadn't defined was actually undefined. 
Now, of course, it's bad programming practice not to define uh, your variables before you use them. But there was an issue, at least with some versions of PHP, where if a variable was set coming in from the uh, form, it was actually immutable, so you couldn't change it at runtime. I actually tripped on that once. I don't remember if that was just a bug in one particular release or if, uh, if there was uh, something actually to that. Uh, and there was a few other things where uh, you, know, you could end up with uh, some, uh, well, less than ideal semantics going on. Uh, there were also some notable problems with the design of certain aspects of the language, uh, particularly the way uh, classes were implemented in PHP 4, uh, but there was substantial improvements to that with PHP 5, and uh, remember PHP 4 was a long time ago. Um, I remember almost immediately after deploying PHP 3 on the, uh, the um, web servers at my day job, I was working on deploying PHP 4, so, you know, uh, PHP 5 came along, uh, and that's been around for quite a while because PHP 6 was stillborn. Uh, most of the useful features from 6 got backported to 5, though, so it wasn't a complete waste. The one notable thing that's missing from PHP is proper Unicode support. But I'm not surprised by that. It's actually pretty much impossible to support Unicode properly without a massive overhead. So, you know, it's, and, and quite a lot of things don't need a lot of extra work to, uh, to use them. Uh, a lot of simple applications don't care whether the text coming in is uh, Unicode or the old uh, ISO 8859 stuff or a Windows 1252 code page or what. Most of it takes it, shoves it somewhere, and doesn't do much with it. So you can shove, uh, shove around UTF-8 strings and you know, pretty much not have any problems especially since strings in PHP are pretty much binary safe. Okay, so, yeah, PHP has some problems, uh, and they've made some questionable decisions. Uh, with PHP 7, though, they have replaced the parser. And what that means is that while they can't fix some of the uh, thinkos with operator precedents and things like that, and associativity and some things like that. While they can't fix that and still remain usefully compatible, what the new parser allows them to do is fix a whole bunch of glitches, special cases, and things that you would think should work but didn't. Like for instance, uh, in early days in PHP, you couldn't dereference the return value of a function as an object or an array. Uh, it's the sort of thing that would seem obvious. You have an array, that's what comes back from the, uh, the function, but you couldn't immediately subscript it. You had to store it and then access it. Uh, and that's inconvenient when you have complex things like dealing with the uh, document object model for uh, you know, XML and stuff because you've got a lot of verbose chaining things together to access things. But anyway, uh, that's actually been possible. The chaining things together has been possible for a while now. But, uh, you know, so things like that have been improving. But they've... Uh, I think the original parser was some kind of ad hoc thing, but now they're using something a little saner, uh, a little more regular. So it means that by accident, it just falls right out of it that you get a whole bunch more consistency. Uh, you know, and now PHP gets uh, some c criticism for being slow and memory hungry and things like that, uh, but a lot of that that 
criticism can be leveled at just about any scripting language of any kind uh, if you cherry pick your data right. But apparently PHP 7 has improved performance and improved memory usage. So and probably the new parser, the new they've got a new Zend engine underneath it. So hey, it does make sense that it would be um, it would be an improvement. And this is the sort of thing that is good to see. Now they did catch some flack for going to version seven uh, immediately after version five. But remember, I said version six was stillborn. There was a whole bunch of stuff out there that trumpeted PHP 6 long before uh, there was even beta releases or alpha releases of anything for PHP 6. Like I remember uh, seeing books in store shelves. Uh, now this is going back a while, you know. Store shelves. Like, what are those? Um, I remember seeing books, you know, all about PHP 6, and I'm going, there is no PHP 6. What the hell are they talking about? Yeah, uh, anyway, so uh, and some people think, oh yeah, it's just we're inflating the uh, version number for marketing. No, in this case, they have a good reason. PHP 6 was going to happen, and it was going to be a particular set of things, but then it failed. And calling this version PHP 6 would cause confusion. Avoiding the confusion is a valid reason to skip a version number. Okay, fine. Now, a lot of criticism against PHP is also things like the MySQL uh, interface functions and so on. Well, granted, some of the early, uh, earlier versions of the MySQL stuff were pretty bad, and a lot of the, uh, a lot of the stuff, and these are all called extensions, even though they're, they're packaged with PHP standard. A lot of the extensions didn't have well-thought-out interfaces, some of them just mirrored the lower level C level interface of a library they're wrapping. So as a result of that, you get some schizophrenic, uh, multiple personality, uh, yeah, inconsistent interface convention between different extensions. But, you know, people, you have to deal with that in any language when you start dealing with a large number of libraries. So it's these extensions that people confuse with PHP itself. Uh, probably because a lot of them come with PHP. Uh, now, they, with PHP 7, they pretty much uh, done for the original MySQL extension, which, thank heavens, is going to improve a lot of things. The thing is, uh, they've had the PDO, the PHP Data Objects thing, for quite a while in there now, since 5.3 or 5.2, something like that, for quite a while. And... That is a completely different database abstraction layer scheme. Uh, and I've actually been using that on any new projects for years. And the reason I've been using it is because the interface is pretty clean. Uh, now, whether they're actually implementing things properly underneath is impossible to say. But uh, at, the, at the least... It's a standard interface, yet so much software out there insists on using the old style interfaces and rolling their own abstraction layer. Now, admittedly, some of the stuff is older stuff like WordPress and Drupal, which would have been around for quite a while, so they would have been around before PDO, and they want to minimize the number of dependencies from the uh, installations and so on. So I can understand a little bit of rolling your own. But that's also where the vast majority of the SQL injection vulnerabilities and a lot of other security problems in those software packages came from. So, yeah, so, you know, a lot of these extensions, they do have issues. But that's not the core of the PHP language. Now, there are some things missing. Uh, for the, the, a long time, you've been able to do uh, command line programs with PHP. Uh, it's not ideal for that, but it does work fairly well for a lot of things. But there are some things that are, uh, you know, not quite there. Uh, 
and you have to add a few extensions to make it work nicely. But overall, PHP itself is not bad. It's not that bad to deal with with a little bit of discipline. Uh, and with 7, they've improved some of the uh, silent failure modes and things like that. They've actually changed uh, parse errors from being fatal so it kills off your program to throwing an exception uh, in, uh, uh, in eval and things like that. So uh, that's nice. Uh, that was one of the biggest warts, actually, is if you were trying to do something that... Uh, protected against idiocy uh, or whatever, tried to avoid uh, releasing uh, information in the wild, uh, yet still be able to give some debugging or whatever, um, you know, you, you couldn't really do that with previous releases. So with 7, I, apparently you can. Uh, and in this case, I think probably an exception does make sense because it shouldn't be the normal situation. So fair enough. Um, you know, so there's been a bunch of changes, and it's probably going to take a while for them to get their head wrapped around it. And with the change in the Zend engine, uh, I imagine a lot of third-party extensions are going to need updates before they can be uh, brought forward. So I think it'll be some time before uh, hosting companies like my day job can actually start offering PHP 7 sensibly. But I think it's a, it's a good development. They've uh, re-engineered a whole bunch of things, and it gives them a, a cleaner base to work from. So, uh, re realistic, I think it's a really good development. And it's one, to be honest, I never thought I'd see. Uh, even though they've had beta releases and so on, I never thought they'd actually manage to release it. Uh, the, the next major version of PHP has been a little bit like Duke Nukem Forever. <laughs> but, uh, well, I guess that got released too, if, uh, if I recall correctly. So maybe the world ended and we never noticed. Um, <laughs> who knows? But anyway, PHP 7 is out. And I'm looking forward to seeing how that actually does in the, in, in the wild. Uh, it's not going to improve the security holes in uh, software that already exists and things like that. It's going to cause some headaches for conversion to uh, from old code to new code. But uh, you know, it's that's the same anytime you have a major change. You know, there's always going to be some somebody relying on a bug that was fixed or something like that. Okay, so, you know, PHP gets a bad rap, but really, it's not any worse than most others. Uh, it, it's the programmers that are the problem, and uh, PHP 7, let's be honest, PHP 7 is not going to fix the programmers. There's still going to be programmers writing crap code. And that crap code is still going to be installed on web servers, and the web servers are still going to get compromised by the crap code running PHP in, running in PHP. But you can have crap code running in Perl or C or anything else too. So or Ruby on Rails, whatever you can you can make bad code in anything, and bad coders, especially the cut and paste coders, and the twiddle it until it works coders. They're always going to write bad code. They'll find a way to write bad code. You know, never underestimate the ingenuity of an idiot. You know, uh, anything that's idiot proof isn't. Uh, it's going to be everybody else proof. So, uh, really, but PHP seven's out there. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how long before things like WordPress actually support it uh, officially, um, and you know. Obviously, all of the naysayers have fallen out of the woodwork like they always do on any kind of big announcement for anything. Uh, so don't let them put you off it. Uh, from what I've seen, uh, at least in the uh, release information, this is actually a good step forward for PHP. Well, 
that's it for today. Thanks for watching.